Welcome to the homework for lesson nine. This is module six of first grade. Get your name on here first, please. And counting the objects, we're working with groups of ten and ones, but this time we're working with uh, pictures of them. And we're later on drawing quick tens, and it's just with larger numbers and place value charts. Count the objects. Fill in the place value chart and write the number on the line. So, how many tens do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And you might be able to tell because those five group rows tell you that there's just one missing from this 10 frame. So you know that there's 9. And then here you might see 3 and 3 for 6 ones. The number's 96. Say the number out loud when you write it down, too because it's good to practice those number names and it also hearing yourself say it out loud makes is like also a way to check it to make sure that it, it what you're doing is making sense and here we have that's a full 10 frame of groups of 10 so that's 10 tens and here's a five group row and one more that's six so that's the number 106 And here we have one, two, three, four, five groups of ten. So there's, that's ten. So that means there's ten and there's one more is eleven. So there's eleven groups of ten. And here we have the same two sets of three to make six ones. You can count them one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's one hundred sixteen. And here we have 10 groups of 10. And how many ones do we have? We have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 for 109. Now, if you're not using the place value chart, if you really just like to count them, you can do that too. But when you count tens, you count by tens. It can be difficult to switch to counting by ones when you run out of tens. And uh, what I mean by that is, like, here, look at this 109, for instance. A lot of times it's easy to count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190. And then you'd have 190 by accident instead of 109. And that's what happens when you start counting ones as if they're tens. So if you're making, if you find yourself making that mistake, that's why you're doing it. That's why, that's why you're coming up with those numbers that are way too big. Just a, a tip. Sometimes it does happen. And once it's a, a mistake, once you start making it, sometimes it's really hard to tell that you're making. You don't even know it. And here we have one, two, three, four, five. So there's 10 tens, and then that's 11, 12. That's 12 tens, and zero, one. So that's 120. And you can say that this is 10 tens, so you know that's 100. And two tens here is 20, so 100 plus 20 is 120. And more of the same. So here we have a 10 frame of groups of 10, so that's 10 tens again. How many ones do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's one of those five groups again, 5, 6, 7. If it was on a wreck and wreck turned on its end, you'd know immediately 7 ones, so that's 107. And here you have 10 tens, right, because it's two five group rows. That's 5, and that's 5, so that makes 10, and then there's one more 10 here, so that's 11 tens, but there's zero one, so that's 110. There's the 100. Right there, and that's 10 more, so 100 plus 10, 110. If you're counting it, count by tens, you can do that too. Use quick tens and ones to represent the following number, so that means we gotta draw quick tens and write the number on the line. So here's 11 tens and zero ones. That's going to be 110. 
And then for, to draw that number in quick tens, we need 11 tens. So I'm going to draw them with five group rows. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. Just like that. And uh, tens of, and like, and here we have 10 tens and five ones. That's 105. And to draw that in quick tens, it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105.